Just when you think all remakes, for the most part, are steaming piles of crap made because, well, money, you strike gold. Ocean's Eleven is one of those films that I envy someone who gets to watch it for the first time with virgin eyes, filled with wonder and amazement. It is truly a unique and special experience. Recently paroled, Danny Ocean is a likable enough thief. Doing nothing to disprove that recidivism among criminals might actually be a thing. He decides he's gonna get back at it and pull off a massive heist, the likes of which have never been done. He pulls together the best of the best in each field that ends up being mostly an all-star cast. With the crew together, they learn that the Mark, a notorious casino owner named Terry Benedict, who not only owns three of the largest casinos on the Strip that will bring in over $160 million, but has something else in its life that is of interest to Danny that makes this job even more enticing. Ocean's Eleven is not like most most other heist films. It handles the story with a sense of style and flair combined with being smooth like a high dollar bottle of scotch. <laughs> See Ocean's Eleven in every way, from the camera work, the setting, even the score handles itself in such a classy manner that it gloss coats the subject. Sure, it is a heist film, but unlike many of the same genre that feel like they're dipped in gun oil and depressing memories. See, Oceans is different. Yeah, they're doing a heist, but rather than bog you down in the mire and muck, Oceans, Oceans 11 keeps it light and keeps it classy in a manner that not only makes it look fun, but makes our protagonists charismatic yet despite being criminals. You find yourself connecting to them because you like them. The story of Ocean's Eleven seems like it was thought up by someone who worked near a casino every day and stared at it for hours and hours while daydreaming about a heist and how each element would work in order to get away with it. The story almost oozes that it was someone's not so innocent fantasy, yet far more innocent than my fantasies. Where was I? Ah yes, the heist was so intricately planned that it feels like whoever thought it up just spent a lot of time doing so in an almost worrisome level of detail. The thing about the storytelling in Ocean's Eleven is that it is intricate and complex, but so easy to follow despite all the moving pieces. The acting was solid across the board, and if I had one complaint about the film is that Terry Benedict never seemed as opposing or ominous as the film plays him out to be. He only has one scene where he's sorta of scary. Most of the time he came across as a stern father who you didn't want to piss off, but not a casino owner that you would rather not intentionally cross. I fear the reason that Terry is not very ominous is the same reason that the film is so good. They work hard to keep you out of the muck and to keep the film classy and glossy like the shiny veneer of Vegas itself. As a result, Terry can't be portrayed as an overly violent or cruel man because it would lower the film. Rather, he was portrayed as efficient and intelligent, and did slightly contrast the picture of the character's pain of it. Speaking of Las Vegas, America's playground where adults go when they want to have fun and cut loose, Vegas itself was a character in this film and provided a beautiful backdrop, but more importantly set the tone for the film. Ocean's Eleven is a great film for any occasion. Happy, sad, angry, or none of the above. Ocean's Eleven will scratch that itch, whatever it may be. <laughs> it is entertaining and classy, but never loses that sense of fun. Ocean's Eleven earns an A+. It is great on rewatches, but maybe not as special as that first time through. But that doesn't change the fact that if you can watch Ocean's Eleven and not fall in love with it, you're probably a horrible person, like a war criminal, or at very least someone who goes to the bathroom and doesn't flush after. What's your favorite of the Oceans franchise? Drop that or literally anything below and have a great day.